What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Justin Facetti, back again with another Financial Friday. And today's topic, we're going to go on and talk about two companies, or I guess two stocks for this Friday. And we're going to talk about Walgreens, and we're also going to talk about Macy's. So I guess it's like Walgreens, yeah. Walgreens slash like DoorDash slash Uber, that's one side. And then the other side is going to be about Macy's. But before we get on to that video, just a friendly reminder to please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help on my YouTube channel, helps put my YouTube videos out there, and also helps you find content that you would like to see in the near future. And also don't forget to follow me on uh, <laughs> Facebook and on Instagram, all at Justin Pacetti. I post a lot more on Instagram, so if you have any other questions regarding any of the segments that I have throughout the week, definitely give me a holler over there and also don't forget this is where i get all my information at the morning brew check out the link in the description below the morning brew is a free weekly newsletter sent straight to your email and it talks about market tech and retail and other bunch of other topics so it definitely keeps you up with what's going on in the world so if you want to stay caught up and with what i'm reading too also definitely check out that link below with my referral link there but now let's get on with the video so the first one that i have right here we're going to talk about walgreens and how walgreens is teaming up with doordash and uber so i'm going to read the first paragraph and the third one like i mentioned earlier i'll also have the link in the description below for these articles so definitely if you want to read up on yourself they're very short they take about maybe two to five minutes to read this entire thing it's only a couple paragraphs long it's maybe like six small paragraphs but starting off with the first one, drugstore company Walgreens said on Tuesday that it will partner with DoorDash and Uber Technologies and others to launch same-day delivery within two hours for retail products in the United States. So that's definitely another level up <clears throat> for people or other consumers that are buying just from Walgreens and also like helps Uber and DoorDash because that's utilizing their platform to help widen not just food delivery but also with Walgreens and drugstore companies. And then going on to the third paragraph, I'm just skipping this second one over. It says Walgreens same day purchase made online or through its app will be packaged by the store workers and then picked up by the delivery workers. So the Uber drivers, DoorDash drivers. So there will be no minimum payment and then most markets will pay a delivery fee of uh, some like a base of $70.99 slash like you know eight dollars that will go to Walgreens so this definitely changes the whole platform altogether because Walgreens itself doesn't have its own delivery service compared to like Target and maybe I believe Walgreens may have its own delivery service but now thinking about this having its delivery having this as an option definitely opens the door for a lot of people and also helps opens the market itself for Walgreens DoorDash and Uber so just doing a quick uh, overlap to see the stock currently as of right now we're going to start off with walgreens as you can see currently uh, as of 5 6 so 5 6 2021 and so it's may 6 we do have a walgreens currently trading at 54 dollars and 20 cents and now we're going to go to uber stock also on the same day you know may 6 so it is currently trading at 46 dollars and 73 cents and then going to doordash's stock trading at $123.24. So if this somehow persuades you to look into more into it, I definitely highly recommend looking into it. Just also another friendly reminder, I am not a financial advisor. I am a nurse full time. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Definitely do your due diligence as to uh, when you're investing your own money. So definitely look and read and everything you can before putting your money into any of these companies. Just a friendly reminder. <laughs> But now let's go on to the second part. We're going to talk about Macy's. Macy's and Bloomingdale's and Blue Mercury. These are, well, those other two aspects, Bloomingdale's and Blue Mercury, are owned by Macy's. So this is all for one whole chunk. They are incorporating a buy now, pay later. Also, I would like to call it like Mimple. <laughs> Uh, the buy now pay later concept is that people are allowed to buy the certain product or whatever need and then they'll be able to pay in installments so for example if something's a hundred dollars and you're gonna have four installments you'll be able to pay off those four installments by 25 dollars for example i'm not 100 percent sure as to how this whole installment thing is going to work in store but as of like online i know other retailers for example i believe Foot Locker and i know finish line also incorporate these installments so that you can pay for the product for example like shoes 
So I know a lot of people would buy the shoes, but they wouldn't be able to afford it at that certain time. They'll be able to pay off these installments, like, you know, monthly, like, I guess, credit cards. This definitely opens the door a lot for a lot of young consumers. So a lot of kids who are teenagers that are trying to buy new basketball shoes for themselves if they don't have the cash as of right now, but they do get, like, a monthly or weekly allowance, um, then they'll be able to pay it off, you know, over time, which definitely is really interesting as overall for the market because I know with the whole pandemic going on a lot of setbacks have occurred for a lot of people and families so this is definitely a great concept especially for the consumers for these department stores so going on like i mentioned here i'm just going to read a little bit into it i don't want to read too much about it because i believe i just kind of summarized the whole concept of this whole part so the buy now pay later firms like klarna exploding online popularity last year with a boost price conscious gen z shoppers so the younger individuals so like younger generation in Klarna's case, gross merchandise swelled 46% to $53 billion in 2020, and in March, it raised $1 billion at a $31 billion evaluation. For Klarna's layaway remix isn't yet as common as physical retails as it is online, like I mentioned about that full like and finish line stores, but times may be changing. So that is the first paragraph. Like I said, I'll definitely put all those articles down in the description below, so, along with my morning brew link, so definitely be looking into that. Um, going in the Macy stock since Bloomingdale's and also... Um, what's it called? Blue Mercury is also owned by, uh, oh, what's happening? All right, one sec. Yikes. All right, and I hope that doesn't appear in the video. But anyways, going into the Macy's stock right now, we do have it currently trading at $14.30 for Macy's. So definitely affordable for most people, I would like to say. If you want to start investing in a little something that's like a little lower in comparison to other stocks that are right now in the market. So definitely, just a friendly reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a nurse full time. This is all for entertainment purposes only. So definitely do your due diligence as to when you're investing your own money. And also don't forget to please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help on my YouTube channel puts my youtube videos out there and also helps you find content that you really like to see in the near future and also don't forget to <laughs> follow me on facebook and on instagram all at justin Bassetti. i post a lot more on instagram in regards to when i'm making more youtube videos or if you have any other questions about any of my segments throughout the week but i'll see you guys on another financial friday it's your boy justin Bassetti, so try to keep up hi deuces okay,